This nether was beyond awful, and with yours, you get to decide whether you're making a place of beauty or whether it's somewhere that absolutely nothing ever happens. And with today's realm review, it's a special for the nether, I'm going to hopefully show you what you can do with the nether. The nether has just five biomes, and they're all a lot more dangerous than any you'll find in the overworld, but the reward for traveling is that eight blocks in the nether is equal to one block in the overworld. Despite this law, 56% of players have never been, and today I figured I would check out what the other 44% percent are up to and if there's anything that you can learn from them. With that said and out of the way, let's jump into never number one. Because outside of making a cobblestone box around your portal, which is a smart way to gas proof it, what you do from there is the thing which is interesting to me. Do you just make a tunnel through the old Neverack texture actually? Do you decide to do something a bit more complex and make it fully out of cobblestone and then stone bricks? Ooh, I quite like this besides the head height restriction. Uh, or do you decide to go for something I'm excited to see because this is meant to be a cherry grove biome path. Well, I mean, it's not a very good cherry grove biome path. Honestly, I'm looking in the never right here and this is this is not a good cherry grove path at all. Oh, it's going to a cherry path. That makes a lot more sense. By the way, I quite like the programmer art texture pack for the lava and the neverack in the new never. It's an interesting fit that I've never seen before. But rather than getting myself some more chop pork chops, let's instead follow this to its logical end. Well, that pathway was almost as much of a disaster as the invention of the soul sand valley biome. But this leads to the first village and further on is many other portals. And so let's see what they've done with this. This is a fairly simple way to get around the nether, make a small tunnel that you know mobs won't spawn in, torch it up, and then just allow people to walk or use a boat or a minecart to get through it. I quite like this as an idea on the surface, and it looks like uh, it's a charming enough way to get around the nether. It just eventually leads into... Oh, there we go. That was very weird, actually. What? Why does it do this? <laughs> is there maybe... Oh, it's... Okay, so there's a way out into the wilderness from here. So they've got a mine in the nether. That is actually something you need because of ancient debris. There's a wilderness opening here. And then through here, there's a nether portal. It feels like we could have just had the nether portal be like more made indicated via this, but whatever. Anyway, we've also got the Never Fortress and Inkfax Sack Farm, but I'm going to see what it- <laughs> wait, why are you here? <laughs> okay, so this was a good example of a basic Never, but also an entirely functioning one, because look how far I went across in this Minecraft world by doing a short walk through the Never. And what? wow, it looks like this was the Cherry Grove path after all. Things have gone wonderfully for me. I think I will say this world is a good example of why you should put your transport system in the Never though. They've got two side by side systems, the ice boat and then a railway, but no way to do this in the nether, which if you're traveling the sorts of long distances it looks like they made this rail for, it might make more sense to do in the fiery hellhole dimension with the big pigs. So this was the first example of a nether. Absolutely beautiful world otherwise, by the way. And so let's move into the next world. This next world is probably another good example of why we're mostly going to be avoiding the overworld. They put so much work into Mitsu Hakane here. Okay, they did put a lot of work into this nether. Look at this. This is so seriously cool. Even just this redstone set of lamps that is f f running around right here. That is kind of fun by itself. But more fun than that is the fact that they've got the bedrock ceiling of the nether right up there covered in black stained glass. This looks so fun by itself. Also, the fact that they rearranged their nether to work this way is really cool. But then they've got beacons, which are basically a flex because they all exist here uh, going only between 109 to the top of the bedrock. That is, it, it's good. You never get to see beacons that look like this, so that is kind of nice. But then, even greater than all of that, it's just a really big open space with lots of lava. This is seriously cool. This is an example of what you can do with your nether in terms of intense mega projects. The only thing I question is how they prevented from spawning in here because you can see there's big open spaces that aren't broken up. You'd expect that at some point they might. So maybe it's just a biome where they don't spawn. Anyway, let's go check out the Never Base and Village Asterix China. I don't know what that could possibly mean, but let's go find out. Oh, this is actually pretty cool. They've got an AFK spot and then they've got another door just over here. I hope I can come back from and this is so you can get into the... Oh, this is... This is how he makes the thing run. It's just a minecart, I'm guessing, running around in a permanent loop. And because it's going in such a small loop relative to the portal, it's always going to be running, so it's never going to stop, you would assume. Oh, I say that, but I haven't seen the minecart come around. Oh, there it is! Yeah, that's that's all they did to make this work, but it is so cool in my opinion. It's just a good example of how something so simple can create something so beautiful. I don't see the Never Basin Village, so I'm guessing I have to go through this portal and then go back through it again, maybe? Let's find out. So here I am. I'm in uh, China, apparently. No, that's nice. Let's. Uh, oh, you know, actually, 
Should we look around China? No, it's it's not in the Never. Let's not do it. I'm sure we'd find unspeakable things there. Let's go back through the Never now and see if this is the Never base village. Nope, just back into the same hallway. Very odd. So that is one of the four directions. The other three go over here. As you can see, this will take us to the raid farm, wolf farm, fortress farm, apiary. <laughs> That's an interesting one. And this next one over here. Oh, oh, there's a... I don't know how I didn't spot that until just now. But there's a staircase going down. This next one takes us towards the witch farm, spawn, and the gravel biome. Uh, you know, it's an overworld thing, but I need to go see the gravel biome. Also, isn't this interesting? It, it feels like I'm not really walking on soul sand, or soul soil, I guess. But I am. Intriguing. But yeah, let's go for a walk. Let's find the gravel biome. I think I meant to use a boat, judging by the buttons. This is starting to feel like a liminal space or like that Super Mario 64 staircase where you just keep on climbing it again and again and again and nothing seems to happen. Uh, it is bizarre to see bricks, stone and wood in the nether, but I do kind of like it. I think that tiny bit of nether uh, built into it is what really makes it kind of spooky. And as you can see, it is not a dead end because there is my portal. Was this worth my trip? <laughs> I wouldn't say it was worth my trip, but now I can see the value of the Hatsune Mikine, which by the way, it's crazy just how tiny that huge thing that I saw in real life actually isn't a map. I guess I see why they had to build it so big. But yeah, let's go to sleep and then let's go back, I guess. While we're going back, I guess I could try this button thing. I'm 90% sure this has been patched, but maybe. No, it's definitely been patched, but let's, let's go for a boat ride across these buttons anyway and show you the rest of the never. <laughs> Okay, now I finally get to go down this staircase and see what the Never actually looks like, not at Y110. And oh, actually, so this is a much more normal Never. I would say that aspiring to have a giant room with cool minecart contraptions is pretty cool, but this is probably what a lot of people will just kind of accomplish by themselves. And this is fine too. Having glass is something I really recommend, by the way, because it seems so dangerous to bring something so volatile to the Never, but actually, as long as you have decent dooring, like as you can see Bacon Warrior here has, uh, if you have some decent doors involved, then actually you're pretty safe. It's only dangerous when there's gas on the outside, and you are too. While you're on the inside, no mobs can attack you, but you get this beautiful view of the never that you usually don't get to see, and I think that's kind of nice. Although, it looks like this just brings me to a piglin farm? Oh, I've not seen one of these before, but every time you move this lever, he's gonna do a trade. Um, that is very... I've not seen one of these before, it's quite fascinating. Every time you move the block, he's gonna do a trade. I didn't realize just pistoning a gold block was enough to make him confused and do his trading and then spit the blocks at what's going to be a hopper, I guess. Very bizarre, but also pretty cool, I guess. Yeah, this thing is well stocked. There is a lot of gold in this world, I am guessing. So yeah, I'm going to turn this off just to not be griefing too much, but then they've got a mega sorter so they can have all of the gravel or all of the never bricks or anything else that they want. Which is pretty handy. It looks like they used all the gravel. I wonder if the gravel biome is really that intense. But yeah, this is a crazy intense redstone system for something so simple. But also, it is pretty cool, right? Honestly, I think this never is the absolute gold standard for what you can go for with a never hub. It is way overbuilt, but to the point where it actually really adds to the world, it makes the never a nice place you'd actually like to visit, which is impressive given it's literally modeled on hell. But does that mean that we'll find other versions of this? Well, let's find out right now. Also, this is, it's so sad. I, it didn't make any sense that it ever worked, but it's still so sad to see it not working. I've spawned into this next world with one and a half hearts and a rainbow experience bar. Oh, there's someone even in here. I can maybe ask them for some help. <laughs> Hello, friend. Oh, this isn't the world owner. This is just someone who happens to be here. Hey, they know me! Okay, okay, okay. Wow, they have good taste in Minecraft, YouTuber, whoever they are. All I know is I'm going to ask, hey, can I have some food and directions to the nether, please? Okay, so as far as food goes, I've not got the best, but it will keep me alive. And as far as, oh, okay, even better. Heck yeah. This is what I'm talking about. Give me those potatoes. Yeah. Oh, wow. This is the best hosting I've ever seen. This is someone who's not just going to show me where the nether portal is. They're going to make me a nether portal. You know, honestly, this is actually a sign of a badly planned never. You know, as much as I appreciate this on a hospitality level, <laughs> you know, I'm going to take away the hospitality points now. You know, I it does say that your never probably isn't planned if you can just put a portal down anywhere, unless it's so well planned that you know you can put one down anywhere and it won't link correctly. 
But I'm guessing that's not what's happening here. So I guess I'll just casually wait until they have obsidian for the portal. Okay, they have enough obsidian. I am ready to go. Let's let's do it. Oh yeah! It has been a solid five minutes, but I am going to the nether. You excited to see what I'm gonna find here? I know I am. I bet it's gonna be the most built-out nether I've ever seen. It's gonna astound me. It's gonna... Oh, oh, yeah, you hear that? Those are noises of a good nether. It's, uh, taking a little while to build. But that's okay. This is, it's a lot of terrain, right? If it's taken this long, you know there's a lot going on. <laughs> I've never, I've never been... There's so much happening right now. Okay, here we go. Welcome to the nether. It's wonderful here, as you can see. Um, it looks like they're going for a minimalistic design where it looks like they haven't done anything. I know that's not true, of course. I know, I know they've got a lot of never. Please don't kill me. You know what? I bet the problem was that I didn't bring my horse with me to the never. Hey, subscribe to Toy Cat. <laughs> that's what I'm talking about. Okay, so I'm going to be honest with you. I've enjoyed checking out this world. I think I've been here before. But I don't think that that is a very good never because I managed to die before I spawned this time. So lovely to check out, but this isn't going to be never number three. This was just an interesting diversion and a reminder that you can subscribe if you like the channel. Thank you to Toby Piggy and clearly uh, his friends for perhaps potentially doing that. Good to see you, Oscar Mills and Dragon Girl 0911. Let's go now and check out never number three. Whoa, look at this world. I imagine that there is some inspiration from some other things that they've seen, but I love it. It's very, very charming. Uh, for a world. I couldn't even tell you if this is super flat or not. It just genuinely looks that good. They've got all sorts of funky, weird builds that I, 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 I'm finding charming. Okay, so which never portal do you think we should go through? I'm thinking we'll just hop into this one right here. Oh, what's it gonna be? Is there gonna be anything in the never? Or is it going to be empty? Yeah, I'm gonna be honest with you. They can say that again. It is a, uh, <laughs> a very interesting never design. This is pure chaos. And I guess, actually, this is a creative world. So maybe it makes sense that they've gone for the birch tree, for the water pile, and for the weird disconnected portals. But on the other hand, isn't it more confusing that they've done all of this? Like, they could have built anything here. They could have done whatever they wanted to. And this is what they went with. Oh, it's a console never. You can tell. They've got the big uh, bedrock wall at 138. Okay, this is all making a bit of sense now. It is cool to see... A never that perhaps hasn't been touched in a while with some very interestingly shaped buildings But I will say as far as the grand never designs go. Oh actually should we get on this railway and see where it takes us Because that seems like the big feature of their never. Oh Yeah, I am going places. There's a big lake here <laughs> It's very odd that there's a big lake here, but I'm not gonna question it. We've got a big tunnel going through here and Oh another tunnel, okay it goes into a warp forest. You know, how could this be a console edition never, actually? I'm very confused. It There's just a warp forest hanging out over here, which they've built this giant stone and wood house in. You know, I, I have to say, this isn't the most beautifully laid out never, but I think it's charming in its own way. It's proof that no matter how much cohesion you have, in the never, it works because the never is never a cohesive place to begin with. Uh, you can do well here, but you could also do poorly, and honestly, it's just as charming because how often do you get to see a never build? Also, look, they've got a fireman pole. They're living the dream, I think. <laughs> this next world has computers enabled, which is very curious, and oh, a lot more than computers. Let's see what happens if I trigger it. Oh. <laughs> Sad. I thought it would do something- Oh! Oh no! What did I have done to my- Okay, well, it's creative. We're fine. So let's go see what they've done in this never. Oh, there's a lot happening in this world, but I'm not interested in any of it because I'm just here for the never. Well, that was a good conversation. <laughs> that's a bounce. I, we can really skip this from the whole video. I'll make it incredibly short. So realm number four that we'll be going to the never for today has an interesting room for its portal, which must be a good sign, I'm sure but we'll find out on the other side. Well, here we are. I don't know for sure because of the texture pack whether this is Deep Slate or Blackstone, but as you can see, it's the same basic idea of making sure your portal is protected by using iron doors and using Deep Slate bricks or using some form of stone brick that won't destroy easily. Then they've got some pathways which go through the never and then we've got dead roots, which I'm very curious about. Let's go find out what it is. Oh, there's some granite stairs or 
Maybe copper going down here? I'm guessing this is for an ancient debris mine, but I don't actually know. There's a button that I'm assuming is meant to give me a minecart, but it's or at least turn on some minecart rails. But instead we'll go for a walk through the nether and see what it is they decided to build. I am fascinated whenever you see this kind of mixture of neverac to cobblestone. That tells me we're probably floating above nothing right now, but what else could we see above nothing? Well, certainly some more cobblestone and an exit to a- Oh! It's a console world, you can tell from the, the Neverwarp Valley, the console edition exclusive biome. Let's go back through and see what's through this nether portal. Yeah, they use this as a relatively fast way to get around their Minecraft world, and honestly, can't fault them for that. Seems to work just great. I guess now the only thing left to see is what happens when we go to gyms. <laughs> I've been walking for over 346 minutes. There's so much cobble deep slate and regular cobblestone and neverack here that I'm sure there's got to be something grand at the end of this. This is the bare minimum function for a never. You can get one person through here and that is it. In the least amount of comfort or speed possible, but that makes me think that they have a grand plan that I'm about to see. It's been three days now, and I have no sense that I'm getting anywhere closer to the end of this tunnel. Nor do I understand why it was dug in the first place. There's the occasional break where I can see that, oh god, there are in fact reasons for this tunnel to exist. In the, the broader sense of that word. But this is the only major build in the Never. And it's in, it's very inconsistently made. It was just whatever blocks they had at the time are the ones they used. But as you can see here, it even goes through a bastion. <laughs> okay, the tunnel has defeated me. It's it's it doesn't have any sign of what it's going for. Well, who is Jim's? Why is it so important? I will never know the answer to this question. But what I do know is I've now gone through four separate realms and four separate nevers and now we can work out what it is that we learn from each of these and hopefully you can learn maybe for your own world. Because looking at the first nether we can see what I think is the bare bones for what you need for a long term survival world. You need a basic nether hub if you can call this cobblestone room that. It has some nice decorations and then it's got some signs leading you out everywhere after that. I think being in the middle of a big neverack cube is the safest way to do this but it's also the least inspiring because you just walk through hallways that look like they're nothing. The second never was definitely the one that had the most work put into it. This room had me immediately falling in love. It's one of the most beautiful rooms I've seen in any dimension, in any edition, and so the fact that it just so happens to be in the never is what really brings this up. It's such an innovative build, and honestly, the even the corridors to get around this place, they were made of some simple block patterns, but they expanded on them, and they used a lot of scale to make it actually feel like a fun thing. This is something you need to do in your world when you've got long repetitive journeys, make the blocks somewhat interesting so it feels like you're walking somewhere and like it was planned by someone at some point, as opposed to just a bunch of neverack, not that I'm calling anyone out with that. The third never was kind of hard to compare because it was made in creative, and so I loved the lake which had some seagrass in it, but also can you say that that's good never design or can you just say that it's an interesting quirky thing? The roller coaster was a little basic and all of the pink stained glazed terracotta was a bit weird to just see the arrows pointing up at it. It felt like it was meant to do something else, but it was a nice enough house, and so I thought it was a solid never too, whereas this last never started pretty nicely, but then has gone very quickly off the deep end, and oh wait, I'm finally at the end! There's a portal! Why? Why did they have such a long tunnel? Just for this. What was the purpose of it all? I wish I could know, but instead I just get to look at some carrots. Well, that was... That was a never, I guess. My overall verdict on this one, though, was it's definitely the weakest of the bunch, but that might not be because it's, you know, like they put the the most effort in and it went poorly. I think it's just not important to them. And hopefully this video is a reminder about the fact that if you're going to work on builds in your world and you're considering making a second base 15,000 blocks away from spawn, maybe the never experience is something worth investing in uh, as well as, or maybe instead of something like this. If you want to make a base that's really far away and hard to access, weirdly enough, the never can be a great way to do that as evidenced by realm number two. But anyway, for now, I hope you all enjoy this video. Consider subscribing if you do, and uh, indeed, if you want to send your realms for next month, put in realm and then April somewhere in the title. Although, I don't know if I can see titles right now. So just send in your realm to Toycat and Xbox Live, and I'd love to check it out if you have something that is unique or worth checking out in some way. But for now, thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.
Goodbye.